There's so much excitement about this Chargers team. They won the draft. The Los Angeles Chargers clearly <laughs> struck gold. Tom, you and the team are coming away with nine new players in this draft. I know you said you were so happy to get back in that draft room, work together, but now that it's in the books, how do you feel? We feel great. It's a long, detailed process. It takes months and months and months with you know thousands of players to start with, and then you know all the people involved in this process. It's, it's the scouts and the coaches and our doctors and our trainers and so many other people are involved in this. So trying to put this all together and it all comes down to really three days. Yeah. Trying to get the, the best players we can, whether it's seven, eight, or nine. It was nine this year, which is nice. It's most players we've drafted since I've been here, I think. So you know, it was a great weekend. It was very efficient, very detailed, very prepared and uh, went very well for us. You mentioned working with some of those people, specifically Brandon Staley and the new coaching staff. What was that like over those three days? It was nice, it really was, because you know it's hard when they all arrive January and February. Yeah. The scouts have been here for a while, so there's a transition period there. Um, and just on the football field, in like new offensive scheme, new defensive scheme, and probably some new special team schemes. So there's a lot of transition, a lot of change. But everybody worked together very well, and we still can't work together totally yet because of where we are with just with the pandemic. So we still have to do a lot of Zoom meetings, even internally. But uh, it's been nice. It really has fresh perspective from from coaches that come from all different places, whether the college level or the pro level, um, to get their input on players. I get their input on, on what they like in individual positions. Obviously, Brandon is, has been great as far as he has a specific vision he sees. He can yeah. communicate it really clearly to everybody, including to all the scouts. And we'll be better at this process next year, I guarantee it. But I'm very happy with where we are right now. The draft obviously isn't just for picking players for the 2021 roster, but it goes beyond as well. But how would you evaluate the depth of this team right now? It's better now than it was last year, and that's yeah. that's kind of the kind of the goal. Like you said, you know, we're we're taking these players for the long term. We're not drafting players specifically to think where they're going to line up on week one for us, because you can just look back at our drafts and really the whole league. Every team when they draft players, very few players from that draft immediately are playing big roles in week one or September, or even or even the first year. So yeah, we're looking long term view on this. You have to do that. You know, we drafted some really good college football players, but they were college football players. Now they have to transition to be a professional player and it takes some time and takes some development and coaching. Now it's a good start. The depth is much better really in all three sides, offense, defense, special teams. Schemes are changing. You and I talked about that on Thursday night after this team took Rashawn Slater and how he'll complement the offense and the changes that are happening there. What can you say about some of the defensive players that this team took and how they'll benefit that unit and the changes that'll happen there? Yeah and this and what I talked about is with the scouts and the coaches and that we're fitting now players to play a different defensive scheme you know as we go through like you know a defensive line linebackers safeties corners there may be some subtle changes there may be some big changes um, but we look at, at say like, like like Chris Rumpf is an outside linebacker type and, and a perimeter edge defender and how he fits in the defense Asante Samuel honestly he can probably fit in any defense it really doesn't matter because um, he can basically cover you yeah. know, and cover man. So, um, but no, we're trying to fit specific players into specific spots. And that's really a big part of the draft. It's not just drafting a player, but it's kind of having a vision for how you're going to use that player. And that's, that's how you really kind of hit on some guys because they fit a specific thing you want to do. You know, the day three guys, they have to earn a role on special teams, but how beneficial is it now to have special teams coordinator Darius Swinton heading up that unit? He's got a lot of experience coaching. Yes, yeah, it's really, it's, it's uh, day two and day three. Yeah. Uh, these, they all have to kind of help on special teams somewhere. And, and Darius has a, has a pretty big role in the whole draft process. Uh, him and, and Mayor are our assistant special teams coach because when we look at these players, we have to figure out what role they'll be on special teams. So they look at, I mean, almost everybody that we like at all different positions. You know, not so much offense, defensive line, but linebackers, running backs, receivers, defensive backs, you know, how they can fit into at least one or two special teams on your football team. So they don't just look at kickers and punters and long snappers. They have to look at everybody and they do a really nice job with that. That's a nice piece of the puzzle to throw in um, as you're trying to figure out players, how they're going to fit is to have that part of it too. All these players obviously different, but is there sort of a common theme that maybe runs through them? As far as the makeup of each player, you know, we, we have a specific thing we're looking for is just as far as, you know, how much they love to play the game, how much they love to practice, their drive and, de and determination to be a great player. You have to have all that because once you get to this level, everybody is so talented. So you have to have something to push you above everybody else. And it's usually work ethic and, and desire of how, you know, how badly do you want it. So yeah, that would be a common thing theme among those players is, is that makeup part of it. And that's a big thing for us. We talk about it a lot inside the building, but you know, you have to actually have some action with it. Yeah. And then we did that with these guys.
Team agreed to terms with 10 undrafted free agents. Always a hot topic with the Chargers, given this team's history, finding those hidden gems. But what can you say about the scouting staff and the work that they had to do in a year like this to find those guys? It was unique this year because so many college seniors decided to go back to school because the NCAA gave them an extra year if they wanted it. So I think a lot of players, if they are borderline, if they're going to be drafted or not drafted, decide to go back to school and play another year. So our pool of players after the draft was much smaller mm. than it ever has been. So we had to be really detailed with that to try and find some specific players we think could come in and fit. Again, you know, the scouts run that whole process, the area scouts, and then, you know, Kevin Kelly and Jojo Wooden run that whole process after the draft to try and find some guys. We need to find one or two or three, hopefully, yeah. up from that class. So it's a little bit smaller class this year. It's only about 10 by the time we get to camp and maybe a couple more, but really a nice job and a challenging year because there weren't as many players to look at. And then lastly, Tom, what's next for this rookie group? When will you really get a feel for who they are as players? Uh, it will take some time. I mean, they'll all be in next week to start working through our first rookie mini camp. But really, all of OTAs is really just instructional. Nothing is competitive, so it's just a learning process. So we'll get a feel for them as football players as far as learning. But not till we get to training camp and then in regular season starting to get a feel for their ability, how they're going to fit at this level. But it's it takes time. You're not going to know in a week or two weeks or three weeks. It's going to take you know a good amount of time to get that figured out. But again, you got to have to have a nice process to it, especially right now for all these rookies because they haven't done much football. Yeah. You know, really, you know, since their their, their last uh, college game. So we got to be careful as we kind of ramp them in. That's what the offseason is about, to get them learning what they're going to do, learning what, what it means to be a Charger. And when we get to training camp, that's where things start to pick up. Thanks, Tom. Great, thanks.